Hello friends, my name is Dave. Good to have you here. What we have is the House of Olympic Orchids. Now, if you have not heard of this, it's probably because it's a very small indie house in the United States. What happened was the perfumer Alan Covey did the original bat for the House of Zoologist. And this one, Night Flyer, is actually the same as the original bat. She has her own brand, the Olympic Orchid. That's how I started looking into it because I was looking for bat, the original one. So I bought a couple of bottles. These are 30 ml bottles. The second one that I bought was Olympic Rainforest. It sounds very intriguing. I, I love the green nature. So I also bought the sample pack. Uh, there's a bunch of samples in here that I haven't tried and I can't wait because I saw they're having a sale like 20% off on their website in the month of July and uh, I want to pick up some more so I there's like 30 plus some fragrances so I want to see which one you know I, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a bigger bottle so I'm gonna do a first impression this will be a first time I'm doing a a review on a sample so it's gonna be first impression whatever I'm getting okay I'm kind of in a hurry because I want to get some bottles but um, this is the first one is called Mardi Gras okay let me put this is a little bottle a dabber okay so I'm dabbing this it's it's quite a bit um, they give you quite a bit in the in the samples okay right away yeah I'm picking up <laughs> Okay, this is a musky type of note. Mardi Gras, I mean, imagine they're doing, they'll give you some, um, uh, you know, like the, the hemp. Yeah, it does. It does smell like that. But I'm smelling some floral with, oh, this is a darker type of scent. This is um, a nighttime partying type of scent. But it's sensual though, meaning like, you know, two people together. It's, it's for sure very musky. Um, Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but I was expecting it to be a little bit darker. Uh, Mardi Gras, uh, not too green. So there's some, I'm smelling some floral. Oh, the, I think there's a animalic note. Um, something is very, very strong. So for sure, this is uh, for level two, not for the masses, okay? Um, for those of you that only appreciate the... Um, the regular designer level one, what I call fragrances, mass appealing. You're gonna need time to get used to this one. This is very musky, very, I keep saying that because it's so strong, it's coming very, very strong, the musk. But I think that's civet for sure. There's some darker, very darker notes in there. It's not really amber. I think there's some sweetness that's trying to come through. Some floral. Yeah, the, the musk and the civet is very strong that I'm having a hard time picking up the other stuff, but I can tell this is a complex type of scent. Yeah, in the first, at the top already, all these are coming so strong. I mean, I can't wait to look into what else is in there. For first impression, I never wanted to see what it is. I want to be surprised. I don't want to be persuaded. So this is what I'm getting. Um, for sure, this is a sensual type of scent that is going to be suitable for the intimate situation, if you know what I mean, okay? Yeah, it does, it does go that direction very strong. It's nice, it's very nice. But only make sure you're level two, that you have some experience with fragrance, okay? Now, the second one I'm going to try is the Seattle chocolate. Um, excited about the chocolate, but I hope it's not just any, um, any just chocolate, just pure chocolate. Because, you know, I have some fragrances, uh, pure chocolate, which are nice, but at times I want I want it to be something different, not just all the same stuff, right? I grabbed this one just in case. This is Montel Chocolate Greedy. This is pure chocolate, and it is nice. It does have some bit of a bread or dough type of smell. Uh, I find that to be very appealing. I, I love eating bread, so it, it comes pretty, um, you know, it's a great combination, but that to me is super chocolatey uh dominating most of the stuff oh so this one is the um seattle chocolate the second sample yeah for sure this is dark this is a dark chocolate yeah that's coming coming out very strongly but there's a lot of stuff going in the background um this is green and woody yeah it's green and woody some sort of sweetness probably from the dark chocolate so those are the three things I'm picking up. Oh, for sure, right away I'm picking up as if I'm sitting in a forest and in a, in a bench or, or 
you know, hiking in a bench is a little bit cool. Um, I have a cup of hot cocoa, hot chocolate cocoa. That's the smell. With some greenery, I could smell the the pine tree. Yeah, it's probably pine. Oh, okay, it's not as piney. No, I, I take that back. But some sort of greenness, very strong, some sort of tree. It's not really herbaceous. That's not what I mean. But it's like smell of the tall tree leaf. There's a there's a vibe to it, and there's a woody notes for sure. And there's some sweetness in the back. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up very strongly. So this one is dominated. The first one is going to be dominated dominated by the musk. And the second one is the dark chocolate with a mixture of greenness and some sweetness. Whew, I can't wait to see what else is in there. Both are pretty complex though. Good. I mean, for an indie house, you know, they're trying to be artistic and be unique, which is very much appreciated. Not just like all the typical designer, which is all the same. This is nice. They, they give it a twist on the chocolate, be mixing it with um, the greenness. I'm enjoying this. I'm really, really enjoying this. This could be jumping to the top of my list. It's one of my favorite um, uh, coffee type of chocolate, hot cocoa type of um, gourmand, gourmandy type of scent. Gourmandy basically just means edible. Okay, edible. You could you know drink it or eat it. Oh, I'm loving this one, the Seattle chocolate. Now coming back to Mardi Gras. Yeah, it's so musky and a little bit animalic. Um, for sure, the Mardi Gras. Um, it's gonna be tough for the beginners. Okay, it's just bear in mind if you're ready for like you know a little bit more experience, try that. It's good though, but I have to say I keep. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to, you know, be too explicit, but this one is totally smell like two people really loving, you know, together. Maybe that's what I mean in Mardi Gras, the party time, okay? It's nice. This is a very nice take on a musk. I have, you know, fragrances with musk, but this one, so for sure, it's going to be for uh, the more 21 and up, the Mardi Gras. 21 and up, um... It does lean masculine, but I would absolutely love to smell a lady wearing this, for sure. This is very sensual, very, you know, explicit, if you know what I mean. There's a, a, a sensual touch to it. This is gorgeous. Whew. Okay, yeah, I'm, you know, still getting that from the beginning. It's been about five minutes. So it's maybe, I don't know if it's going to transition or change. I'm coming back to the Seattle chocolate. Yeah, it's staying about that. So I'm picking up the most is the dark chocolate, the some the green foresty type of feel, and the woodsy type of scent. So the Seattle chocolate, I think any age should be fine. Uh, that is a very very safe type of fragrance. But because of the greenness behind it, I'm trying to see if I ever have this type of drink in Starbucks. Uh, you know, like coffee or, or espresso type of drink with a greenness in the back. I don't recall, but this is quite interesting. If you're just thinking about pure chocolate, you might be taken aback in the first spray. So prepare your mind of that greenness when you get into it so that you'll be okay. A lot of time when I'm too surprised or if there's such a big twist, I might be it might be off-putting to me because I was expecting something else. But prepare your mind, that one. But I still believe it's still very safe. Unlike the first one, it's a little bit more dangerous, more... Um, you know, if you know what I mean, like two people. So both are really unique. I don't have anything like this, even though it's a chocolate, but it's, there's a big twist to it. The Mardi Gras, for sure, I have some musky type of scent, but nothing like this. So Mardi Gras is for the more mature, I mean, 21 and up. Seattle chocolate for any age. The longevity, I believe both are going to be strong. Both are strong. I just put a little dab on my... And it's projecting, it's projecting really well. Uh, longevity, I, I'm betting that it's going to be great. At least a full day, no problem. Yeah, I'm liking this so much, very much. So, um, both could be, you know, do you know what? I would say it's unisex, okay? Just both are unisex. It's very for the, for the masses, but one is more mature. The Mardi Gras is more mature than the Seattle chocolate. If you're a, um, a coffee drinker, you might want to give Seattle chocolate a, a try. You know, Starbucks started in Seattle, right? So I think that's their take. And also they have a lot of mountain, a lot of hiking trails. So, um, you know, that's where the green comes from. 
I'm loving this. So far, it's、uh, four for four. The Night Flyer, Olympic Rainforest, and this two four for four from the house. Man, I love this house. Yeah, totally love it. So,、uh, if I think of anything else, this is the first impression. Okay, so if there's anything that changes, I'll follow up. But、uh, with that, I gotta go ahead and do a lot more of this because I want to get some bo- bigger bottles. But I'm not gonna get like 30 plus bottles from the same house at, at you know at one time. So I'm gonna pick up some that you know that really intriguing so far.、Uh, two for two on the samples. Great. As always, I hope that is helpful. See you next time.